Welcome back to my channel if you are new and thanks so much for tuning in my name is Courtney and this is creative on the cheap where I like to do budget friendly DIYs and home decor all right today's video is a little special because I am participating in the rainbow challenge this challenge is hosted by Kat from according to Kat and this is what it is there are several youtubers participating in it Kat drew colors for each of us and I got the color orange I should probably be wearing an orange shirt right now but I don't look good in orange so I'm not now let's see what what I came up with using the color orange as my main point of inspiration. Let's go. For this first DIY, I'm going to be using this pitcher that I got on Amazon. If you make a lot of mixed drinks, this pitcher is really awesome. It comes with the stirrer. It comes with the little insert to put ice in it so that your um, drink stays cold. And it's 72, a little over 72 ounces. So I will link this down below if you're looking for a good pitcher. But this is what I will be using to make this DIY. So the first thing I did was I just created two designs in Cricut Design Space. And I'm using my Cricut Joy because they're kind of small designs and so I'm cutting out one that's going to say orange juice with some orange slices and then I'm going to use some gold vinyl and I'm going to cut out the word champagne and some bubbles. I got my orange sticker on there. That one was super easy. It's just the permanent smart vinyl from Cricut. I did wipe the pitcher down with some rubbing alcohol before I put it on as I always do when I'm working with any type of glass or ceramics and vinyl. Now this gold vinyl here is actually iron on vinyl. Right here I'm snipping it because this is a curved surface that makes it easier to put the letters on if you kind of snip the transfer taper, paper, I'm sorry, just a little bit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on. You can see Bailey's fingers in there helping me out. And once I get it in place, I'm going to use my heat gun to get this attached. Now, obviously you cannot wash this in the dishwasher. And because this is glitter, I am gonna go back in and put some dishwasher safe Mod Podge over the glitter. I do not typically seal over my vinyl when I put it on glass, but for this, because like I said, it's glitter, I just wanted to make sure it lasts. And there you have it, a cute little pitcher that would be the perfect hostess gift for someone. You could also do lemonade as your base drink because there's lots of things you can mix with lemonade, but this makes a great gift for those people who like to entertain. Now, moving on to our next DIY, this is a perfect DIY for an upcoming gift for Father's Day. So taking this bamboo wind chime from Dollar Tree, I am going to paint it and give it a little life by painting it for our favorite sports team, the Houston Astros. They had this light colored bamboo as well as a dark colored one and you could paint any team that you wanted to. You could also just go in and paint it if you really wanted to. But such an easy way to customize and this gift only ends up catching, not catching because I'm thinking of baseball, costing a dollar. Seems like time as a wave passing by leave a mark in our marks to turn the memory so lucky for me, orange has been a standing color of the Astros throughout time. The other colors have kind of changed here and there. So I'm using the Arteza Outdoor Acrylic Paint. I absolutely love this stuff for outdoors because it has the built-in sealer. You let it cure for three days and it's good to go to go outside. No extra steps in sealing it. So the orange paint that I'm using right here and then the white stripe that I'm going to use, both of those are Arteza. The navy was not Arteza, so I am going to go back and seal that navy paint in so that it doesn't get all messed up in the weather. And then once those are painted, I will go in and start working on my little logo. Hoping you would stay, but I've always known 
To do the logo on my wind chime, I could not find my star stencils. So this is actually just a wooden star I had in my stash and I'm just kind of loosely tracing around it to get the shape. The star is gonna end up being painted white. Then I'm going to use these stencils that I got from Dollar Tree. They have so many stencils out right now with all kinds of different fonts of letters. And I'm just gonna use the H and I'm going in and stamp it with the orange. Now, I went in super heavy handed, wasn't really, being my most careful and so when I pull off the stencil you're gonna see it's a little bit wonky but that's okay I'll just go in and um, correct it with some of the white Arteza paint which is another great thing about this paint is it's thick and so it's really easy to kind of clean up any places where you may have gotten paint that you really didn't want to the sun would always shine when we sat there you and i the river's gonna cry when you're gone 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 the river's gonna cry when you're gone gone to follow that little Father's Day or whatever man in your life is important day a gift idea, now let's work on some breakfast for our fella. Now this is going to be several Dollar Tree DIYs combined together to compose a really special little breakfast and bed tray. It could be for Father's Day, it could be for Mother's Day, it could be for our happy birthday, whatever you want to do. So this first DIY, super easy, you need a flower element. So I just took a vase from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to use some sand from Dollar Tree as well. Now they had several different colors. They had tan, white, black, and turquoise at my Dollar Tree. And I end up using um, one entire bag of the sand and then um, I um, am going to just put some fake flowers in there. Now the beauty of that is that they will not die, which is really awesome. So of course my flowers are orange and I'm just going to stick those in there. And then my last little finishing touch to this, this is the dripping blossom, there it is, is to add some orange ribbon. They had this at Dollar Tree at Well and now your flower element is all finished. Moving into our next little DIY, I'm going to be using one of the little mini pitchers that are out from Dollar Tree. I've got a white one, but first I cut two designs on my Cricut Joy. I did one in black that says fresh squeezed orange juice, and then I also did some little orange slices with the orange vinyl. Once that was done, I um, got those cut out and weeded, and then I needed to get the design off of the little pitcher. Now, I didn't have any nail polish, and this stuff actually just scraped off really easily, so I just used my fingernail and weeding tool, and I just scraped it off, but you know what? There's a million ways you could do it. You do whatever you wanna do. Then once that was done, very important, you wanna make sure that you clean it really, really good with some rubbing alcohol before you put the vinyl on. And then all I'm gonna do is stick my vinyl to this little pitcher. And then this little thing is super cute. Now you could also do one that said cream if you wanted to or whatever you wanted to, you know, up to you. But these little pictures are so cute. And yeah, there it goes, all finished. work on a little condiment holder for the tray where you could put jellies, jam, salt, pepper, sugar, whatever little condiments you want to add to your tray. So this is just one of the little wooden crates from Dollar Tree. It was a little rough so I did go ahead and take some sandpaper and just sand it down just a little bit so that it wasn't so rough. And then I'm just going to use some of this brown cream wax from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to paint it on there to get a nice little stain. Once that is all done, I'm gonna set that aside and then I'm going to work on a little printable for the front. Now, I will link this little printable down that I made. It just says Farmer's Market Oranges and has some oranges. It's the same kind of design I made for the pumpkin stand that I did last fall. And um, I will, like I said, link it down below for you guys. And I'm just going to cut it out 
and then attach it to a piece of cardboard so it's kind of sturdy. And then I'm gonna put some twine on the back so that way I can change it out if I wanted to and it's not permanent on this little crate and that way I can use it however you want. And so it kind of dresses up the little crate and then like I said, inside you could put whatever you want, fruit, uh, jellies, you know, butters, all that good stuff, but a little place to kind of contain all the condiments on a breakfast tray. The condiment crate is ready to go. So now I just picked up these little mini glass jars from Dollar Tree and I thought it would be cute to put condiments in these and then attach little tags to them and then of course tie them off with some orange yarn. You could use any color you want of the rainbow but you know what I'm going to use orange and um, I'm just going to write so you could do sugar, cinnamon, you could even put jelly in some, honey, you know you could do whatever you want to do in these little jars. It just makes it cuter and then they can go inside of the little crate. This old town, just leave it all behind. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. It's a hard thing. Moving on to some type of beverage holder. So I got this really pretty jar from Dollar Tree and I have this gallery glass window color stained glass paint. Now this comes from Plaid and I was excited to use this. However, I bent the tip because I was messing around with the lid and as you can tell it was kind of bent there and it messed up the flow coming out as you can see. <laughs> it's bent. It just comes out too fast. So my plan was just take the orange and kind of outline where the design was and fill those areas in but because the tip was bent it just didn't work out that way so what I end up doing is after I tried to make it work I just went ahead and spread this paint all over it and painted it in now something that would be really pretty is if you use some of the other colors and actually made this look like a stained glass bottle which I hope I can find another one at Dollar Tree because I'm planning to do that and again I'll post it on Instagram that's where that picture will go up if I do end up being able to do that but I just went ahead and painted the whole thing. I did not paint up at the top where that little lip is, kind of where the cork is, because I wanted to keep it food safe. I just wasn't quite sure about the paint. I did go back and seal this um, bottle. And then just to add a kind of a little texture to this, I just wrapped some twine around the neck of the bottle up there where there wasn't really any design. And then that's it, a really pretty bottle that you can, like I said, put water, orange juice, cranberry juice, whatever beverage you wanna put in it to put on your tray. The last DIY is for some ooh la la ambiance. Um, I found this mimosa frappe candle. How lucky was that? It's orange. And I just wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit. So I took some twine and I wrapped it around and um, kind of the and rim of it of the jar not the rim um the neck of the jar and i just tied it off left it there and then dollar tree has these really cute little fruit cutouts so I took one of the little slices and the first thing I did is I just went over it with some white paint and then I absolutely love these Arteza acrylic markers, especially on these little Dollar Tree wood stickers or wooden letters. You guys have seen me use these several times on any type of little wooden cutout thing like this. And I'm just going to take the orange one and fill it in. It made it so easy. I didn't have to sit there and try to be really precise with my painting. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hot glue this little orange slice to the front of the candle. And then voila, you've got yourself a nice aroma of orange and um, just a little extra sparkle on your breakfast tray. Now that all these DIYs are finished, let's build up our breakfast tray.
There you go, some creations inspired by the color orange. When you're done watching my video, make sure you check out the description box below. It will have a list of the YouTubers and what colors they had. Definitely go check out and see what they did with their colors. Please let me know down below which one of these DIYs was your favorite. And also for this week's random question, instead of me asking you one, this is your chance to ask me one. I'm compiling questions because pretty soon I will be doing a Q&A with Mr. Cheap and I would love to have some of those questions. So drop those down below in the comments along with which one of these DIYs are your favorite. Don't forget you can follow me on social media for behind the scenes and all that jazz. And yeah, that's it guys. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.